Hi, this is Pasha Roberts. I am uh, just just messing around here a little bit while uh, we're getting ready to uh, start. I'll be starting in about three minutes. And uh, I think Megan is starting to gather a crowd for the shout out um, behind me. So uh, I will be starting in about three minutes. But in the meantime, you can um, enjoy our little uh, video speed. Um, so hang on. In the background, you can see uh, Megan. Okay, or maybe I'll jump, jump down. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, we're actually broadcasting now, but um, <laughs> yeah, don't so, take don't take somebody's eye out with that hair. Yeah, that's a video frame right there. Welcome to America, Chicago, Florida. Woo! All right, nice show. Thanks. Okay, uh, let me make sure everybody's there. Yeah, they're saying good good video, and it's 11 o'clock, so I'll get started. Okay, let's get this started then. Uh, I'm Pasha Roberts, and uh, I'm in one of the world's greatest environments, a uh, comic convention. Um, it's kind of weird that one of the, the two major places that we show are actually libertarian shows and at comic conventions, and at both of these you see lots of uh, people with guns, in the latter case, fake, walking around. Um, but feel free to uh, chat in your questions and uh, you know, let us know what other uh, thoughts you have along the way, and I'll check that along um, as we go. Um, so at this point, um, we're, um, I, as you can see, we're in a very strange place. We're in the, on the floor of the uh, New York Comic Con, I, of uh, um, Orlando Con called uh, MegaCon. There's about 30,000 people here. Um, and compared to a typical political convention, like a libertarian convention, you might get like 1,000 people. And we had like 1,000 people in mind. I mean, there's over 30,000 people walking the floor over here. Um, Megan and I are just going nuts here, working the crowd. Um, so um, basically the guidelines that I have, I'm going to um, talk about um, the movie and talk about the characters and give you a bunch more feeling for <clears throat> the, um, the background of the whole thing. Um, I'm only going to give out spoilers for what's already out on our comic. If you go to our website at silvercirclemovie.com, um, uh, there's a link to the comic there. And you can see a lot of um, um, a lot of existing material. We're about 40 pages, which is about 40% of the way into the movie. So uh, I'm not going to reveal things that are not totally out there in the uh, in the movie. Uh, the film itself will be done this fall, and the comics coming out two pages a week. Uh, I guess we should probably not do that. Um, so um, and I'll mention this at the end. 
um, but we're looking for an intern and some bloggers, and um, so we're looking for uh, people to help out uh, with our uh, work, and in particular, we'd like to have an intern in our office over the summer. So, uh, so that's what we're looking for. Um, let me get started. Um, <clears throat> the context of the movie is a dollar crash in uh, 2019, or leading up to 2019, which is not very far away, um, but we have, um, we show the situation to be, in the U.S., to be really pretty bad by then. So you can actually, um, we have a pretty heavy decline, we have a good imagination, and uh, you'll see that there's um, a lot of stuff that's uh, uh, not going well in the U.S. by then. We based it in Washington, D.C. Uh, the U.S. dollar has lost its uh, world reserve status. Inflation has gone so that we have 10 times the prices that we do now. Uh, so um, it's a fair amount of inflation, but it's not hyperinflation, which is a little weird for a, a lot of people to understand. Um, the Federal Reserve now owns all banks. Uh, it's called Fed Bank. Um, and uh, there's uh, um, a couple departments in there that are working uh, with the Federal Reserve. One of them is called the Department of Housing Stability. Um, and what their main job is, is to create the um, strategic housing reserve. Uh, basically, they use eminent domain and they use um, you know, they just buy up houses with their fake paper money um, to control entire blocks of empty houses and they are forced their emptiness to expand and contract that supply so that we never again have a housing crisis. So that's kind of the, um, you know, um, the mechanism they're using to uh, control the housing market as well as everything else that you see. Um, also, we've militarized the Federal Reserve uh, a fair amount. Um, they currently already have their own police department um, and they do have federal authority they have M fours and all that kind of stuff, but they mainly are kind of toy cops. They chase people off the property when you try to video them. I know I've been chased off many times, um, but now they have a lot more um, authority, a lot more, um, a lot more going on inside the uh, security forces of the Federal Reserve. So, um, so that's basically the uh, the financial um, content of it. The rebel. Um, you know, the rebel underground in this are basically um, libertarian, anarcho-capitalist, probably more ACs um, that are out there um, sort of fighting the Federal Reserve explicitly now that it's become a, a major force. Uh, they have two strategies. Uh, one of them is really to eliminate the tyranny. Um, so they, um, you know, they, they'll fight the strategic housing reserve, they'll do protests. Um, they, um, you, know, um, you know, people may or may not agree with this, but this is a movie, so um, you know, they actually will blow up houses inside of the strategic housing reserve because they're empty um, to uh, draw attention to uh, the um, badness of that concept. Um, and they, they do a, a range of events to try to get people to pay attention to what the Fed is doing. Um, you know, we're assuming in the movie that, um, you know, uh, Jim actually made the good point that, you, you know, Theoretically, you could get people to squat inside the houses that's less destructive than blowing up, but um, these are guarded houses. You can't just go in there and do it. If, um, if the Fed had people living inside of their houses, um, then um, it would defeat the purpose of the strategic housing reserve. They need them to be empty. So um, the main strategy that the rebels have, in addition to eliminating the tyranny, is to create alternative markets. And you already see people doing this now, like with Del Valle Silver and uh, Agrist Alley, all these people, and uh, you'll see this in full force at Court Fest. Um, but they basically make their own silver currency, um, you know, from certain currency that people have stored up, uh, people have converted, they have, um, we may get some mine conven mining kind of connections in the sequel going, but they make their own silver currency, much like this. Um, a lot of you already have these, um, but this is basically a one ounce silver round um, you know, imprinted for the movie itself, it says silver circle on it, and, uh, and uh, you know, and it has the rebel symbol on the back. So, uh, so that's, you know, the core of what they're doing is really trying to create this alternative market and to try, try to create a currency where um, people aren't destroyed um, as they are with the dollar. Um, so, uh, and to support that end, they have their own refinery, they have their own mint operations. Um, you know, we've spent a lot of time at um, refineries and mints and just learning the way that the silver and gold world